Joe and welcome to Disney and Beyond, your one-stop shop for all things Disney and pop culture. There's been a bit of a lack of content on the uh, channel this week because I'm, as you can probably hear, quite unwell. I've got a chest infection and stuff, so hyped up on antibiotics. But this orange box of loveliness turned up this morning, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and get a video out. I may die partway through this video. But uh, we will see how it goes. Um, yeah, it's Tokyo Treat. It's a snack box from Japan. This is the premium box. It's September's box. Um, it just arrived. And it's... Uh, thought, uh, get it over. I can't even speak this morning. That's how ill I am. Yeah, let's get this box open. We're back, so yeah, there you go. As usual, packed to the brim because these boxes are always incredibly packed, um, always full of stuff. We've got a little bit of a note that I shall read to you, dear Tokyo Treat family. We try our best to keep all the boxes uniform every month, but due to the manufacturer's limited availability this month, unfortunately, we won't be able to send the Odang Goyasan DIY kit to all our subscribers. To compensate, we decided to replace it with a Happy Kitchen's Taiyaki and Odango DIY kit. That's the same Wagashi DIY kit, but more elaborate. So that kind of sounds cool. The official English tutorial for the DIY kit can be found at, I don't know if you're in your uh, tutorial website. We deeply regret that we won't be able to deliver you the original intended stack, but we hope you enjoy the Taiyaki and Odango DIY kit just as much. And join our monthly contest using the stack and hashtag SweetDango and Tokyo Treat. We feel terrible about the situation, but we hope you can find it in your heart to forgive us. So yeah, they're, they're usually really good. Whenever there's an issue in Japan with certain items they always replace it with something else they don't leave the box short so that's that's really good let's pull out the first item on top we've got the Wagashi bag but we'll leave that till last um uh, the Daigashi bag sorry we'll leave that till last okay first up we have Kalbi Satsu and my mom don't know what they are let's hold that up to the camera so everyone can see a simple but elegant snack, this month we included Satsu Maimon, a sweet potato snack. The addition of cream cheese gives the snack a creamy but slightly tart flavour that's highly addictive. So yeah, I like sweet potato, I like cream cheese, that actually does sound really nice. Probably going to munch on them whilst spewing my guts up this afternoon. So that'll be fun, but yeah, I shall look forward to eating those. We're going to do this video at a rapid pace today. Okay, we've got some Hello Kitty strawberry pretzels. Strawberry pretzels? Sounds interesting. Uh, in cute character designs that both kids and adults like, this time we bring you stick tight pretzel snacks in tasty honey roasted or strawberry flavour. You also could have got a uh, Rilakkuma honey roasted flavour. So I've got two different variations in this box. Let me know in the comments down below what you got in your box. Uh, I'd be interested to see what the other variation tastes like. As I say, this is the strawberry pretzel. So I'm, I'm probably more pleased with the strawberry because I do like strawberry um, pocky. And these do look very similar to a strawberry pocky. So again, I'm pleased with that. Let's have a look at the next item. We have a... Topo Chihaya Fura Fruit Tart. Let's hold that up for the box. So yeah, these are the Topo Chia. Oh, I can't say that. Chihaya Fura Fruit Tart. The stick snack franchise collaborated with popular manga Chihaya Furu, which is a manga I've read, uh, to release their popular snacks in the. Chi Hei, I'm going to make me say this like a million times. Chi Hei uh, Furu inspired packaging. 
This time we bring you the Juicy Limited Edition Fruit Tart flavour. So that could be interesting. Uh, as I say, I've never seen or read the manga. So yeah, I'll check that out at some point and let you know what it tastes like. Okay, next up we have... Okay, this is an item from the premium box. The Kume Hello Kitty Ramune. Mm. Uh, Kume, a popular sour plum franchise, released a collaboration item with Hello Kitty. The cute packaging holds heart-shaped Ramune candies that come in fizzy apple soda and refreshing sour plum flavours. Now, I've had Ramune candies before and they are very nice. They are quite sweet but um, usually really, really tasty and sour plum isn't a flavour I've ever tried before so hopefully they'll be quite nice too all this box is sounding quite nice this month a lot of it is actually character based so this is a very character and IP based stack box this month which is cool so next up ah we've got some uh, high chew premium red grape Hi chews are um, very popular chews in Japan. A bit like a, uh, I suppose they're a little bit like a chewy or a, a fruit teller or something like that. Um, enjoy the highly fragrant aroma of these extra chewy candies that can only be experienced with this premium series. 98% of the juice used in these high chews comes from Italian Cabernet Sauvignon grapes. Bit of champagne or wine there for you. Cabernet is a white. Yeah, Cabernet is a white. Um, so yeah, so grape flavoured chews made from the same grapes, but they're very white made. So that can be quite tasty. This is probably the hardest video I've ever shot in my life. So let's move along. Um, Crunky X One Punch Man. I have seen a One Punch Man. One Punch Man is very good. Popular chocolate bar Crunky is back in a limited edition flavour and packaging that comes in a different design collaborating with popular series One Punch Man. Crunky comes in a tasty cookie and cream flavour. Cookie and cream flavour, I've had it, it's quite popular in America. Um, I had it when I was out there last year. It's very nice, very nice chocolate, kind of biscuity taste, um, obviously it comes to cookies. Um, but yeah, I will enjoy that. So far, I'm probably looking forward to the Satsu Rival Calbi. Um, but yeah, it all sounds really good so far. Let's carry on. There's still a lot to go through. Ah, this is the DIY kit that I mentioned at the beginning that came on the note. This is the uh, replacement item. Um, the DIY kits come in the premium box. Um, I have had the uh, Tayaki before, they're like a wafery, um, well I had like a wafery one, it was like a very um, fluffy chocolate inside, it was very very nice. So I'm sure this will be lovely, um, it's, usually, it's a very traditional Japanese snack, um, they use it like a pancake um, with filling and usually red bean paste uh, filling, very tasty, they, they do them a lot at festivals. Uh, in Japan, and this is a DIY one, so it looks on the back of the box, it looks quite complicated, quite complex. Um, but yeah, I will definitely make that. I've still got, I've got a pile of uh, DIY candies that I haven't got around to making yet, so I shall hopefully get around to doing those once I'm fit and healthy again. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting to the end. These are Chipstar Shinshu Wasabi flavour. Chipstar released a new Shinshu Wasabi flavour to their collection of Japanese chips this summer. Using a wasabi powder and paste from Azurino Shinshu, these chips are sure to add extra heat to your summer. I like wasabi, I like wasabi flavour. Chipstar are basically the Japanese Pringle. Although they do do Pringles in Japan, um, this is like a Japanese version of it. Um, I've had other flavours of Chipstar, and yeah, they are exactly like a Pringle, but I've never had a wasabi flavour Chipstar, uh, a wasabi flavour Pringle before, so 
if they're not too hot, they'll be nice. But if they are incredibly hot, like Wasabi can be, um, then that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting to eat. My trusted assistant also likes spicy food, so they may get palmed off onto him. Um, right, next item. We're getting, we've got a few more left. And uh, this is... One moment while I look for this. Ah, this is a Kinako Mochi Crackers. This is a Wagashi, uh, which is a traditional Japanese snack. It's in the regular and premium boxes. Uh, these light and airy rice crackers are coated in roasted soy flavour, special wasabi sugar and cinnamon for a simple but elegant flavour that melts in the mouth. Pairs best with green tea. I've got green tea downstairs in the kitchen. So, I will probably get those to go lunchtime. It's going up to lunchtime as I'm filming this, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to give them a go today, later on. Uh, I like soy flavour. It all sounds nice, I like rice crackers. I reckon they're going to be quite cool. Especially if you do it with green tea. Right, we've got four items left, plus the Takashi rag. Now this is a drink that they teased online. It sounds very peculiar, but I will read it out to you. Doramon Genki Jelly Drink. Doramon, the 16-time champion of favourite character ranking, and his cute sister Dorami Chan designs are featured on this month's drink. A great flavoured jelly drink that can be enjoyed chilled or frozen. Now this is like a juice with bits of jelly inside it. It's I kind of had something similar with the DIY candy a couple of months back. That was great flavour. Um, so it's obviously a kind of a stage in Japan. And I did like it. It was quite nice. Uh, very sweet. Um, but this isn't. That was kind of a DIY candy. So. It wasn't really a drink, whereas this is actually a drink. Um, so yeah, that's going to be um, interesting to try that. Quite a good board to actually. Uh, right, we've got... Pikachu Ramuye, a fun flavour changing candy in a cute packaging. This Pikachu Ramuye can be enjoyed in two ways. Suck on it for the strawberry flavour to change it to a melon flavour. Or chew it for a surprise watermelon flavour. Never had a sweet that changes flavour before. Thanks for like strawberry, melon and watermelon flavour sweets. Um, I will probably suck it. Um, but that's going to be quite interesting to see how that has that, how quickly the flavours change and how effectively the flavours change. Um, yeah, that's going to be different. Uh, I will let you know in the next video what that was like. So, yeah, we've got Two items left. We've got the um, every month in the premium box, you get a um, kind of like a little novelty item. Usually, it's kind of either a traditional Japanese item like a fan or chopsticks or a little um, anime item. This is a Disney Tsum Tsum uh, torch pen. It's both a torch and a pen. Um, and it's Disney, which obviously, as you guys know, I am a big, big fan of Disney stuff. Uh, and the Simpsons are fantastic. My sister collects Simpsons. She's got hundreds of them. Um, and yeah, and all, as you can see, all the Simpsons are on the pen there. Um, it comes in lots of different colours, this pen. I got the black one. Let me know in the comments down below what colour you got. It looks like there's a green, a blue, a red, a yellow, uh, pink, purple, orange. Lots of different colours. So yeah, let me know what colour you got in the comments below. Right, one item left before we get to the bag ash bag. Uh, ah, actually I may have got one of the items wrong. Ah, this is the rice crackers. I thought that other item earlier was, they forgot that like the rice crackers. Yeah, this is this is a rice crackers by the looks of it on the um on the box that I read out earlier for another item that looks very similar to the rice crackers. So I don't know what that other item was because I can't see it on the book. But that is the rice crackers. Forgive me for any mistakes in this video. I am flagging rapidly, declining. 
So we quickly open up the uh, Daigashi bag and see what's in there. Uh, Daigashi bag usually has five uh, random snack items that they pick at random. I don't think every box gets the same. Um, Daigashi are basically, uh, in the UK we have sort of 10, 20 pin sweets and bags of crisps and things that you can get in corner shops. Um, and a Daigashi in Japan is a similar sort of thing. It's kind of one, two yen sweets. Um, that you can get at convenience stores. Hardest bag in the world to open. Okay. What have we got? Uh, curry flavoured crisps. Uh, these are very similar to a corn snack that I had or sweet corn flavour. Uh, kind of like knickknacks. Uh, in the UK we have a crisp called a knickknack, which is basically a corn based crisp um, that comes in different flavours. Um, but this is a curry flavour. I like curry. So I'm sure curry flavour would be fantastic. What else do we have? Uh, we got some tiny little. I don't know what these are. Could be peanuts, could be crisps, could be, could be anything. The fun thing about the Daigashi box um, is that you never know what's in it because uh, it's not written down and you can't speak Japanese. I don't know, but yeah, it kind of looks like some sort of Bombay mix um, in the UK. Again, I don't know if it is in other countries, but we and we have this stuff. We like the little crispy uh, bits, little sticks and mix different shapes and things. It's like a Bombay style curry sort of flavour. Um, next up we have um, they look like more of a Rune sweets. Um, champagne soda pop. So yeah, Rune basically. Uh, and finally we have the and my boy, which is my favourite item every month, you get a new wine boat in a digestion rack. So, that is the box. And we're back, had to pause there for a minute for a coffee fit. But that essentially is the Tokyo Treat Premium Box for September. Um, great box, and uh, it's a really nice thing. I, I genuinely can't wait to try all of this stuff this month. Um, I don't think there's anything here that I, I'm not going to like. The last couple of months there's been some odd flavours. And I've thought like, maybe I'm not going to like it, but I have liked it. Um, so every video in the past that I've said, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that, I have liked it. Um, but yeah, this, this is a really good box this month. There's some great variety of flavours. Um, it's a great variety of different types of um, snack. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, thank you for watching. As I say, it's been a bit quick and a bit rapid this month because as I say, I am quite ill and I'm probably going to collapse after this video. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. If you don't want to miss any more Disney and Beyond content, hit that uh, subscribe button. I don't know if she's watching today, but uh, my goddaughter, Alice, uh, watches me on YouTube quite often, and I said I would give her a quick hello, so, hello Alice, hope you're okay, uh, I'll probably see you soon, um, so yeah, that's that, as I say, hit that subscribe button, and uh, until next time, to infinity and beyond.